G'day guys, welcome back to some more of building the Salil Royale. Uh, today we've got a fair bit of um, bracing to fit in place to hold the uh, skeleton a bit more secure. We're going to be putting these parts, uh, part 29 on both sides and then braces 30, 31 across. The instructions say with this one not to glue 29 in place on either side uh, so the only reason I can think of for that is that something is going to be on top whether it's the deck or something else and we have to have that little bit of um, wriggle in the ribs to make sure it all lines up so I'll put the other side in this in nice and easily and then um, We'll put the braces across, but those ones we glue. This is 30. more bracing to go in I've actually fitted it in place uh, again these two you know, 35 on both sides don't get glued and the cross braces do and that seems to be what's actually holding it in place uh, 
I actually had a little bit of difficulty holding all three pieces at once while I was getting this in so while I had it there I thought I'll glue it and just show you the end result for that we still have to put um, part 37 in the front here so we'll do that now and easily there we go beautiful So that is in place, turn this back around and we're going to be doing the same thing we did on this side with parts um, 20R, 21R, 25R, 26R and 27R so we'll fit those into place actually I'm actually thinking when um, we plank this having that extra support around there is going to make it a lot easier um, to uh, bend the planks around so I'll get these ready and uh, we'll go on with that okay that's all done nice and quick for you guys um, I'm just going to look ahead in the instructions now see what other pieces we need to continue and I'll get back to you. Okay, while I'm waiting for some more um, frames to dry that I've uh, just put together, this is a uh, bit of forward decking that uh, the uh, bow script fits through here. Uh, this has to be planked, so I thought I'll do that because it ha has to be placed in the next uh, four or five steps anyway. Uh, I've already divided it into halves because we will move the planking from half out and we don't plank the top couple of millimetres there uh, as that's where it slides into the uh, forward bulkhead. Uh, I've already cut the strips out um, and I've just got them held together with a couple of clamps here because I'm going to be uh, simulating the caulking with a pencil on that edge. I've tried different methods but uh, this seems to work the best for me anyway. Uh, once I've actually done the um, uh, placing the planking, trying to work out uh, what sort of a stain I might put on it. I don't like these planks as they are, they seem a bit too shiny and not, not really how I imagine the decking's going to look. I don't want anything too dark either or uh, anything looking overly weathered. So I might do some um, practice pieces just to get an idea of what I'm after. Um, I'll get some glue ready and we'll uh, start on the planking. Okay, let's get glue down, spread it out a bit. Should definitely use a little bit of 
bit too much, but so there we go. Thanks. There we go, they're all uh, laid out. I'll just wait for that to dry, trim it up, uh, do the other side, and then we'll look at um, uh, giving a bit of colour onto it, some sort of dye, but I'll work that out. Okay, I've finished the forward deck, planking it all, uh, trimming it up. I uh, gave it a light coat of um, a uh, old Baltic stain and then a light sand afterwards um, before I fit it I've actually just fitted these four little braces here I think it's 38 and 39 R and then 38 and 39 L so I'll just get it ready to go in there Hold it, we'll let that dry and then um, slide back. Oops. Once this is big enough, I've got a uh, building slip that I'm going to put it into to stop things like that with it falling over. So um, we might leave this week's video here and we'll continue with the skeleton next week. Thanks for joining me.